Please read the disclaimer. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> I see there's a, the first things I say is holy shit. I say holy shit for two reasons. Um, number one, we're playing Babby game. Uh, it, of course, it's a requested game, as you can probably see from the title. And number two, that intro right there uh, was very similar to Wacky Races. Um, unbelievably so. Very, like it was paying homage to it. Holy shit, how similar was that to Wacky Races? Just look at this. Here we go, he's gonna play it again. Look how fucking similar this intro is to Wacky Races. It is crazy. It is... It's just crazy. Um, but yeah, hello and welcome. Sorry, I'm Bio. And uh, yeah, we're playing a requested game today by the usual requester. Um, B uh, TV Fan 101, BBC2 Item Fan, which he requested Pokio Racing for the Wii. There you go. So here we go, watch this. This is exactly the same as what you'd see in Wacky Races. Exactly. And then they do the crisscross one there, and then the other one there. That is fucking Wacky Races every day of the fucking week right there. So yeah, so I wouldn't play this normally, because it's Babby game, Babby racing game. I know I did that big car racing, but that was just for the memes. But this one's like Pokio. I know it's a... Pokio? I don't know. Pokio racing? I know like it's a kid's show on like CBBs or some shit. But uh, yeah, I didn't even realize it had its own video games. But yeah, so this game was released exclusively in Europe. It was going to come out in the US, but it was cancelled. And it's developed and published by Zinkia. And uh, yeah, it's a racing game. I don't know what else to say besides that. Right. I'm playing with mouse and keyboard, so you're going to have to excuse me. Probably going to be shit. But we, we you know, we just have to fucking... Alright. Grand Prix party. I'm gonna have to change the. Uh... I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to fucking change things. I'm gonna pause the pause the recording, change some settings, and then I'll be back. Okay. There we go. So now I've I basically have set up my Wii remote so that it's on its side. Obviously, the emulated Wii remote. I could set up my actual Wii remote. I do have it. I just cannot be bothered. Honestly. Unless I'm going to do, like, a bunch of Wii games in one sitting. I'm just doing one in this case. It's, I just don't see the point. So, it's probably going to affect my experience quite a bit. But who cares? It's a fucking babby game. How hard is it going to be, exactly? Oh, two. To continue. Uh, one player for the Grand Prix. Uh... Yeah, just start. Why not? Let's go for it. I do like how it showed how, you know, because again, babies should be playing this technically. How it, sh it shows how you should hold the Wii remote. You should turn it left and right, not turn it forward or back. I do like that. That's cool. A visual visual learning is better than telling, in my opinion. So, and see how exactly it's going to control the car, car by turning the Wii remote as if you were steering the wheel. Or use the control pad if you prefer. Oh, so you can use the control pad. You don't have to. Oh, that looks nice. The, the, no, that's nice. The aesthetic looks pretty nice. Again, obviously, it looks nicer because it's on the Dolphin emulator, but still. On your marks. Oh, we're playing as a duck, set. are we? Go. So I'm pressing forward on the fucking deep on the I guess the D pad. I don't know how that's going to 
Arms up. <laughs> Arms up. Yeah, no, I didn't do that. Oh no. Because I'm controlling the car with the D-pad. Oh no. Slippy slippy. I will be honest, um, visually speaking, visually speaking, the game looks fucking great. Like, I'm surprised. The, the aesthetic the game has is really nice. Um, in terms of controls, just using the D-pad, I, I imagine this probably game is horrendous in terms of motion controls, because not, not a lot of developers, besides really Nintendo themselves, were particularly good with doing the motion controls. Wow, is that it? Very short race. Again, yeah, I guess the tension span of a kid would be quite... Or babby. It's not really a kid, it's like... You, uh, who's going to be playing this? Four-year-olds? Five-year-olds? You know what I mean? Angry alien. is Orange alien. They just included random characters that don't actually probably exist in the show. Just for the sake of padding. Rand. What do you want to do? Repeat the circuit. Random circuit? What do you mean, repeat the circuit? Stop the race? Random circuit. We're doing a Grand Prix. There's supposed to be like at least four races. What do you mean, repeat the circuit? That wasn't a circuit. That was one... Okay, that was one course. One, I guess one circuit, whatever. Um, yeah, it, it, it controls about as well... Yeah, like, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be completely, completely fucking honest with you. I expected the game to play much worse than this. Oh, Planetarium. Like, the courses look nice. They look okay, considering. Then You know, they're nothing special, but the visual design is very nice. They've gone for a certain ex a, a certain aesthetic, and it works. It works really well. It's very simplistic, but again, it works really nicely. So... On your marks. Get set. Go. By the way, you don't need the two, bu the two button. It's literally you control the car with the D-pad. How fast you go, I... Oh, I don't think... No, no! It goes for you! You drive... Okay, so there's no acceleration button. The car just goes anyway. You just have to turn it left and right. Ah! That's even better, again, for, you know, considering, again, the target range for this. And then you press the 2 button to use the turbo. And that's it. Okay, I'm noticing something. That's very that that turn was very similar to the previous course. But no, what I'm saying is the turning is fine. The turning with the D-pad is absolutely fine. I'm very surprised in how uh What I'm saying is is I'm very surprised with the turning. It's actually not too bad. I expected the game to be worse, if I'm honest. Oh, didn't do very well in this race in comparison. But I expected I, I I'm going to be honest with you. He's still happy, even if he came in 10th. He's still happy. <clears throat> Fair enough. It's just, uh, yeah, the, no, the turning is fine. It, it gets just very simplistic. Yeah, I think it's probably, if you're, this, if I work it on the basis of, like, would would this be a good racing game to give your five-year-old? I would say, yeah, probably. But then again, there's no reason why you can't give them Mario Kart. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> there's no reason you can't give them Mario Kart. They'll learn. You think they're stupid, they'll learn. And 50cc is pretty easy in Mario Kart. You get Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on the Switch. But for if, if, if the, for Babby's first racing game, I think this is fine. This is absolutely fine. The controls aren't terrible. It works. The aesthetic is really nice. It looks really nice in the emulator. Yeah, I haven't really got anything to fault this game on, really. And if they were paying homage to Wacky Races with that intro, fair play to them. They've done an okay job with a racing game. And I actually had to look at the developer, uh, and the developer hasn't developed much. <laughs> Zinkia has developed literally like four games. Three of which are Pocchio games. The first game they developed was uh, Play Chappers Football Edition for the PSP. It's like a board game? Yeah, board game thing. Play Chappers. Looks like it's got bottle, cop bottle caps or something. Maybe a game to look at for the PSP randoms whenever I get around to doing those. You got Hello Pocchio on the DS. There is a DS ver They did the DS version of this game as well in 2011. Um, 
Oh no, they only did three games. My mistake. They did three games. In 2008, they did three games. Play Chappers Football Edition, Hello Pocchio, and Pocchio Racing. And then in 2011, they did the DS version of Pocchio Racing. Um, they were going to do a game called Pocchio Circus for the PS3 and 360, but it was cancelled. Yeah, no. It's kind of too bad. I wonder what, where these developers went on. They, they did a decent job for what it is. For, for very... For developers that have only just started out, they did a pretty decent job, in my opinion. But I think I'm going to stop there. I've gotten an idea of what the game's like. Uh, that was Pocchio Racing. It was... Uh, hmm. It was just kind of... It was alright, I guess, for what it is. Um, I'd be Bio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. See ya.